Well, Mark, Dayton police are now looking for the suspects accused of stealing thousands of dollars worth of scrap metal from the Wilbur Wright Middle School, which is behind me. And tonight, police need your help to stop these bold thieves from striking again. Behind this metallic chain link fence, what may look like scrap is a gold mine to others. They've been going in there at night and stealing uh, copper piping from the school. It's under renovation now. It's being upgraded and rebuilt. Police estimate $5,000 worth of copper is stolen each week, and it's been going on for several months. In one week, it was about $20,000 that of copper, and that's a lot of copper large, you know, going like that. That's older. There's a lot of copper piping inside of them. Metal thieves also struck at the old Parkway Inn Motel on North Dixie Drive. They actually stole five large commercial uh, air units from that motel, uh, took them to a house in the county, stripped all the metal that's worth anything out of the air units, took them here to Dayton, Ohio at Rumkey Recycling on Monument Street and tried to sell that metal. Lucky for police, recycling centers are willing to play watchdog. Thanks to an honest business, these two men, Jamie Lee Daly and Ronald Gones, are now behind bars, accused of stealing from the Parkway Inn Motel. Just because of their, their hard work and their effort, uh, two thieves were in jail. Now, police tell us that witnesses have reported seeing a pickup truck leaving this area, and they do have a license plate number. They are following up on that tip right now. We also learned today that the police department has dedicated two detectives full-time to investigating rising metal thefts in the city. Reporting live, Sonu Basu, 2 News on your side. A bandit who police say 